Oh, thank you, whoever did that. Let me see, let's see, right. Okay, um, is the form required? Okay, so I used to think if you check the box on the listing agreement that said that you weren't gonna market it like for two weeks that you didn't need the form, but you do need, they say you do need the form. So the coming soon form, oh, is it? Um, no, I thought I had the, oh, for a while there I had the website for it, but I don't have it up now. Um, but it, the, when you go into the, uh, what I did was I went into the MLS and I just said um, clear cooperation policy and it came up with all the stuff are coming soon. And it came up with um, a whole bunch of good information. But the form is required and you, you only have to have it in your file, but you should have a coming soon form. And on the, on the front page, it'll have a box to check, need the coming soon form. And then it has another box to check, which is why I wanted to show it to you. Can't believe I don't still have it. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if this is it. No. Um, Uh-oh, that didn't change my screen, did it? No. Okay. You, oh, shoot. Darn. Anyway, I, I thought I was going to show it to you because next to the asking for the coming soon form, there's a box just as big that you can check to report someone who's got a coming, who's doing something wrong on a coming soon or on any of these. So that's kind of that. I mean, it's not new now. It's been there a couple of years, but they now have no question. What do I do to report someone? Go right to that box and check the and check and you can report someone. So if you go buy a property, let's say you go buy a property and you see a for sale sign and it doesn't say coming soon. It's just a for sale sign. And so you think, oh, I'm going to look this up in the MLS and you look it up in the MLS and it says it's in coming soon. And yet there's nothing that says coming soon on the sign. So you could then technically report these people, whoever, you know, report the agent who put the sign up. You don't submit the form to the MLS. You just put it in your file. But if they ask for it, you're going to need to have it. Um, is a listing contract required? Of course, it's required. How do I enter a coming soon? Okay, in the MLS. It's, it's you know how to do that. It's the same thing, but they give you a um, here. I'm, I'm going to send this out, but you can click here and it tells you, depending on which um, MLS you belong to, the step by step instructions. Oh, OK, so this happened to one of our agents. I entered a listing as active instead of coming soon. How do I fix it? So I had an agent do that and it was only supposed to be inactive for a week and it took the CRMLS a week just to get to it. So um, it didn't really help us. And we basically, we called the board first and the board said to send it to them. And we sent it to the board. And then after like two days, they said, we don't handle this, the MLS handles it. And then the MLS said, I'm sorry, it's too late. You entered this days ago. We were like, um, but you know, anyway, so it, it didn't really work. They, they were too slow to help us at all, but only the MLS can help you um, if you enter the wrong place. Is a photograph required for coming soon? Yes, coming soon listings are showing on the MLS, so you have to have your photograph. Um, can I add a virtual tour to a coming soon listing? Yeah, it's the same thing as pretty much your listing is your listing. It doesn't, it's not going to change when it goes from coming soon to active. So it's, it's everything's the same. Can an offer be presented or accepted while it's in coming soon? Yes, a buyer can make an offer subject to inspection or otherwise according to the party's agreement. So yes, you could make an offer subject to inspection, but you could also, I would think, be presented or accepted while it's incoming soon. If you, let's say you have your property, the property incoming soon, and on Monday, someone calls you and they beg, 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 and you show it to them on Monday afternoon, and on Monday night, they make an offer. As long as you move it in one day, you're okay. So um, yeah, you could actually go right from coming soon to, um, to in contract. Oh, here we go. Depending. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yes. Buyers may present offers and seller can accept them even though, right, while you're incoming soon. Can I modify the start showing date once the listing is entered? And yes, you can, you know, you can change the information in coming soon, just like you can in active. Um, but you can't go beyond 21 days, obviously. <clears throat> are coming soon listings in IDX? Yes, they are. They are they are sent out to IDX users and VOW, I guess. Um, are they including listing distribution feeds? No, they don't. We already talked about that. Um, 
Does a new construction listing need to be entered within one business day of marketing? I, we don't do, only one person I know does new construction listings, so I'm not gonna, we're gonna skip that. So does anyone have any questions on coming soon? Okay, I think I'm talking to people who already all know this. Okay, the last one, oh, wrong one. The last one then is registered, okay? So registered, okay, so there's a mandatory delivery of the listing agreement to the MLS. So if you're not putting it in active and you're not putting it in, in um, coming soon, then you have to register the listing, okay? You have to put it in the MLS under registered. And when you put a listing in the MLS under registered, it is not like putting a listing under active or coming soon. You, you only, and we're gonna see, you only answer these five questions. So you go into the MLS, you would you can always Google if you can't remember because I do it all the time. How do I enter a listing in, re in um, registered and it'll come up? What information do I need? This is all you need. You don't need to know everything. The property address, the list price, the effective date of the contract, so your listing date contract, your expiration date, and the date when marketing will begin. No 21 day limitation. You could put it in here for two months or three months if you wanted to. You know, if you if you just wanted to have the listing, even though they're not ready to sell yet, you could do that. But again, these are and these are the only five things you're going to have to enter. So you don't have to have pictures. You don't have to have anything but these five pieces of information. OK, when do I need to register a listing agreement? We already talked about that. You have to register it within two days of the effective date of the the listing agreement. Two days. That's it. Um, same as everything else in the MLS. Um, what is the effective date of the listing agreement? It's the it's either the beginning date of the listing agreement or the date of the last signature, whichever is later. So if your listing period begins on December 5th, but one of the parties didn't sign it till December 7th, then your listing, then your effective date is December 7th. It's the last date it was signed or the beginning date, whichever one's later. Okay, is the car form SELM still required? They say yes. Again, if you put it on the, if you check the box on the, um, in the, in the listing agreement that says I'm never going to market this property, uh, I used to tell people they didn't need this. They do want you to have it. If they ask for it, you better have it. If your seller has decided to exclude the listing, to exclude the listing, you need the, the SELM. But in the old days, we used to have to fill that out and send it into the MLS. Now we just fill it out and put it in the file. You do not need to submit it. Um, what do I enter in the start marketing date field? The start marketing date is the date when public marketing will begin. So it's the date you're going active. Okay, that's the start marketing date. I'm taking this listing December 1st and I'm going active January 5th. your ability to enter a start market date. Okay, so if the seller instructs you to never market the property, which we get, you must confirm that you have a seller signed exclusion form to this effect, and you should have one, not just confirm it. This will remove your ability to enter a start marketing date. So they'll take away start marketing date if you're entering it and you confirm that you have a signed uh, exclusion for the whole period, for the whole listing. So if the seller will exclude it for the whole listing, you still register it and you don't have to put in a start marketing date. Okay. Uh, I still need to register the listing. If I upload and submitted an exclusive form via crmls.org prior to the date I gained access to the register process, do I still need to register the listing? Are you talking about, I mean, we've had registered listings for, for a couple of years now, I doubt if anyone has one of these. This would be a, would have been important at the time if I'd already sent my form in. Can I register a listing if the listing agreement is not in effect yet? No, you have to have any more than you could put a listing in the MLS if you don't have a listing agreement. You know, have to have a you don't no point in registering it if you don't have a listing agreement. Okay, can I publicly market it? No. So we need to talk about what's the difference between public marketing and not public marketing, okay? 
Okay, when I have a registered listing, can I market the property to agents working under the same DRE broker license as me? So the answer is yes. It allows an exception for in-office communications. If the listing broker office has buyer interest, but it has to be from an existing client who is not a member of the public, and that's by their definition, is any agent in the listing broker market. Okay, so to be a to be an existing client who is not a member of the public, it means that within the last twelve months, the agent would have the a, any a agent under our brokerage would have had to have an a listing would have had to have a um, agency agreement. Okay, so which you get no matter what kind of re, whether you represent the buyer or the seller. So you can market it to the whole company, but the agents can only market it to clients who they had a agency relationship with in the last year okay which is a big deal i mean you can't market everyone thinks that you can market it to all to everyone in your company and you can but if you you know if you see that listing and it's in and it's in registered and you know they're saying hey this isn't registered but we want you guys to know about it only past clients so if you have an investor or you have someone that was a past client that's looking they're not part of this you could show it to them they don't count you can do whatever you want with them but again, they had to have had an agency relationship with someone who works for under our brokerage license in the last year in order to market them during registered. Um, okay. Can I or anyone within my brokerage show a registered listing? Sure. If you if you fall under this, if you're showing it to a person who you had a, somebody had an agency relationship with, absolutely. What does CRMLS consider public marketing? Okay, I guess this is where they go. Oh, public marketing is everything. We already went through this on the last one. It's everything. If a broker cannot publicly market a registered listing, how can the listing go straight from registered to active under contract or pending? Okay, because it could because we have anyone because to find an individual or entity that is signed within the previous year a disclosure regarding real estate agency relationship they aren't considered the public so if you sold it to one of them you could sell it while it was still in the registered status and then move it to pending but you better if someone looks it if you go right from registered to pending it better be someone who you had the right to market the property to however i believe well, we're gonna, we haven't got to it yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that, um, oh, I can't remember, number. we'll get to it in a minute. Hold on, entering a mark. Okay, how do I register it? Step-by-step -step instructions are right here. What if I made a mistake? If you, you can edit a registered listing by following the steps, they have, they have our rules on editing a re registered listing. If the property type is inaccurate, you will need to create a new registered listing. So if you use the wrong property type, you just do a whole new one. Um, and then please contact the local association so the staff can remove the incorrect one. Okay, interesting. Um, is it possible to modify the start marketing date after registering a listing? Yes, the listing agent, office manager, or the broker can, can modify it. How do I extend the original start date? Sellers have to sign a new exclusion. So if they're going to extend it beyond what you have now, then we need a new SELM or amend the other one, you could always do an amendment to the to the one you have. Um, and then you must obtain these signatures before the original start marketing date. So before the original date, don't wait till the date is passed before you extend it. And they must specify the new date, then you can modify the registered listing. Okay, my seller accepted an offer on their registered listing. What do I do now? Um, not to do with, oh, really? If the seller wants to keep the property off the MLS until the start marketing date, even though they've accepted an offer, you do not need to move the listing out of registered. On the start marketing date, you may update the listing from registered to active or coming soon, and then depending or active under contract. So move the listing to the MLS book. If the seller wants to move the listing to the MLS before the start marketing date, you must obtain written authorization from the seller. Okay, so it's up to the sellers already told you not to put it on there. And if they accept an offer and decide they want to just move it into pending, then they need you need a written agreement. You need a written authorization. Okay. Okay, my registered list. Oh, that's what we just did. 
Okay, can I extend the expiration date after I register? Can we just do these? My, my, um, how do I access my registered listing? We already did these. How do I access my registered listing? And, and I'm just going to do this real quick. So, you'll see you go there. Oh, and then you go here. And then anyway, I don't, I don't know. I find it that everything they have on here is very easy to use. Um, if you have time to just read it because they're really good about their instructions. Okay, let's, um, okay, what does MLS consider public marketing? We did that. How do I? Uh, yeah, question? Yes, Cindy, quick question. Uh, what if after you registered and then uh, three weeks later, the seller decided they don't want to sell anymore? You want then, to would that be considered a cancel listing? I, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm still wanting to get to where it talks about that. For registry, can I shorten it? How do I access? How do I update? Um. Okay. So, so at some point you have to act. Okay. You can send registered listings from registered listing service directly to your matrix account. And I this this was from last year, so I'm assuming they're working on making the feature of it that's already available. Other than M, well, we use Matrix, so it doesn't matter. We don't care about the other ones. Um, for the most part, I'm sorry, you San Diego agents. I know you don't use Matrix. Um, okay. Do I need to include a photograph? What is the difference between registering and coming soon? Oh my gosh, they didn't answer that question. I pretty, I was told once, and again, they didn't. They don't even have the question here. What happens if it cancels? I think you just, I think you just leave it there but I'm not sure. And they didn't have that question here. That's what they used to say, but I don't see a question here for what, what you do if, um, if it cancels other than you can go in and, and make the change, I guess. What do I need? What is the effective date? Is the car the start marketing date? Hmm. I'm not sure, but that's, a, I, I need to know what happens if it cancels. Cause I was told once that you just leave it and it doesn't matter anymore, but, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to find out. I, I can't believe there's I was hoping there would be a question on this. Um, okay. That. Cindy, on that question on the cancellation that you just yeah. had, um, what happens on the coming soon? If it's listed as coming soon, at the end of the 21 days, it automatically goes to active. And so you would have to make that change to canceled. But it, from coming soon, but you can't do it from right. registered because they can't move it because it's only five questions, right? Oh, yeah. Not not the registered. I'm sorry. I thought the question was, what do you do if they cancel when they're in coming soon? Coming soon. Yeah, you guys, you, you have all the access you have is you have to um, everything else to the. Yeah. But in but in what do you think? You just leave it there and ignore it if it's in registered, Terry? Well, if it's in registered and it's never been entered into the MLS at that point, right? So there wouldn't be anything to cancel. Right. You just leave it there and it just kind of yeah. dies. Yeah. yeah. And you still have to cancel the listing. You still need a listing cancel. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing to do in the MLS. That's what I thought. Any other questions? Cindy, I have a question, but it has nothing to do with the uh, registered and okay. the coming soon. Um, I need to extend the listing um, uh, time period. And um, and then, of course, uh, so then do I, um, is there a form? I forgot if there is a form to do that, or do I need to have well, you, them? The modification of terms extends the listing period. That's okay. what you use. Okay, to modification it. of terms will yeah. cover that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay, there are no other questions. Um, I'm here all week, we're not doing a lot of traveling this week, week although I have to go to Winchester on Wednesday. Um, <laughs> Winchester. <laughs> I know. I know. Last I know. time I stepped in the horse stuff, so I got to be really <laughs> <laughs> um, So anyway, but other than that, I'm in the office every day this week. Yay. It was. It's. I've been a little behind from the traveling. But um, this week we are we are off. So because um, of the Mike Berry, because of the toy drive. So I'm here. If anyone needs anything, it's a really good week to catch me. Yep. Ditto. Thank okay. you, Cindy. Thank you. Thanks a lot, you guys. <laughs>